Hi I'm back with another story in the Raising Gone series. I guess this will not get many views, because who still reads poetry? I do. I did a bit of research, and wrote all the poems myself. I know they're shit, but it was fun to imagine what kind of poem each character would write. In the first vid there are only haiku. In part 2 there'll be other forms. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. I love y'all. Sorry killer. Damn I suspected it was a trap, but I just refused to think Aunt Mito would trick us. Just when someone mentions Choco Robus I don't think straight anymore. Anyways, why do we need to peel 2000 fucking potatoes? It's Friday, she cooks for the sailors. Uck. Are you done boys? Almost. Afterwards, wash up and dress up. I've got something planned. Wait I thought it was just peeling potatoes, and then we'd be free again. Either you do as I say, or you are grounded for the week. Yes Mito-san. Hey Mito-san, is this one of your projects? To make me more likely REO. Oh no. In the living room everyone is there. I called an old friend and renowned artist, to help me out today. Hi I'm Basho, many of you don't know me. I'm a friend of Mito-san and a colleague of Kirapika. Hi Basho-san. Hey good to see you again. Hello Mr. Basho hi, Liario sus and jealous face. Draw. Bisky moves her chair closer to Basho. Hello, hello e. I'm a poet. Mito-san asked. For my assistance to refine you, you don't look particularly refined. Very brawly and muscular for a poet. <laughs> Refinement is first and foremost a quality of the mind, so today we will practice poetry. Uwag. Eh, yeah I love poetry me too. Me three can we write about elves and unicorns, about naked muscular men, or the beauty and endless potential of youth. I also like poetry. W-A-A-A-H-H-A-A-A-R-G-G. You are also here, don't sneak like that you nearly gave us a heart attack. I was here the whole time, sorry that my presence bothers you. I, sorry Kaluto, yeah we are sorry, you are really good at staying unnoticed, yeah you should join us next time we play hide and seek. Okay, now everyone has calmed down, let's start with the exercise of the day. I want you all to write a haiku. A haiku is a short poem, it has three lines, no rhymes and a syllable structure of five, seven, five. Silly bro. Sigh, my god kill why, do you hang out with that unflushable floater, there's no such thing as a stupid question. A syllable is a combination of letters that, make a single sound. Gone is one sound, so one syllable, killer is kill there were so three syllables. Gone how much is Kirapika? Gone counts on his fingers, four. Excellent. Traditional haikus usually include a season word and have other specific requirements, but we don't care about those today. Just follow the structure and write about what you want. Everybody is trying to write a poem. There's a lot of syllable counting, scratching and noises of satisfaction and frustration. Half an hour later. Okay, you've had plenty of time who wants to go first? Go first. Recite. Aye aye that was never announced, well now it is. I so who's first, me me me, go ahead. Silver in moonlight. Shining like my brother's hair. Prancing unicorn. Ah, uh, perfect. Really good job Aluka. Yay thanks, that was really nice. Better than mine. Who goes next, me. Killer and I, we like slime and mayakut. He is my best friend. Blushy. Why why does everyone mention me, EHM not particularly refined. And there's 8 syllables in the second verse instead of 7. But good first try. 8. We like slime man. Mayo cart? No it's 7 mayo cart? Ha 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 gone you idiot. What? It's ma. We. O cart. Baka. He doesn't say it's me mayo. He says it's a me mario. I didn't think killer would care so much. Humph. Okay enough. Next. I'll go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Gone my unripe fruit. Bloodied. Bruised. Persevering. Eyes. Such potential. Did you need to moan and pant so much? Yeah. The Hisoka sand that was so brilliant drool. Ugh fuck that disgusting clown. I like it. Not bad Hisoka. Not bad at all. 
Thank you. Nice and visual unripe fruit could even count as a season word. Some advanced criticism. A bit too much punctuation for a haiku. Also slightly too philosophical maybe with the word potential. But that's debatable. Overall a good haiku. I. W. T. F. Basho. It's a twisted poem. I don't judge a poem on whether it's moral or not. That's an antiquated stance. I judge a poem on how vivid and well written it is. Next. Don't be shy. I'll go. Spiders in the dark. May my fury never fade. Scarlet eyes on fire. HMM a bit confusing, but I like the obsessive tone. Not bad. Also pronouncing fire in one syllable gives it some nice spice. So fire is fine but may occur isn't. Rolling eyes it's unfair. Kurapika. So predictable. Says the obsessive pincushion. Yours is gonna say he'll come home. Come home killer actually. To fit. Why do we do this? This sucks. You all suck. Poems suck. Come home killer. I guess 1 out of 10 for effort not very inspired Illumi. But the haiku is correct. I wanna hear killers. I do we have to recite. It's the way to learn. But otherwise I'll talk with Mito-san about your lack of effort. Fire and starlight. Whale island views but all I care for is you. Gone. Blush. Simp. Simp. Oh big brother you are so sweet. Killer that beautiful. No pleading eyes. No pleading eyes. Says the fart who wrote the most pleading eyes poem ever. Maybe a bit on the cheesy side. But quite good. Well done Killua. Who's next? Wait. You have another one written below. We do to Nietzsche. Huh. Wa what? No thought that was just a draft. Pleading eyes. Oh please. More pleading eyes damn. Since you requested Luca I guess I have no choice. So. A. Uh, prettier than the stars, chocolate robot colored, are his eyes, Gon's eyes. Melted to a puddle, A. Eh? Puke, sweeter than chocolate is his heart. Or, shush it up, next. Kaluto, want to go next, it's not very good, can't be worse than mine. The fallen blossoms. Follow the path of the storm. Meandering dance. Wow little brother that's beautiful. You never told us you were such a good poet, that's really good Kaluto. Agree, I don't know what it means but it sounds pretty. You are very mysterious Kaluto unlike that bratty brother of yours, the best one so far. Liario, let's hear yours. Ehem, ehem. Drinks and dreams, but there's work to do, money to make, and lives I can save. That's my man, it's not very good, it's nice. You're a good person Liario. Thanks kiddo yeah Liario you're great. Not particularly poetic, but it has a nice rhythm. And a simple straightforward statement can be just the bit of fresh air we need. So last but not least. Bisky would you do us the honor of concluding this class? Blue planet, my gem, reminds me of the lake where the magician bathes. Eeeeg, nnnggg. Bisky there was no need to remind us of that day. Hisoka WTF, what the hell did you do? Yare yare you will find that in quite the innocent victim here. Yeah sure fiddlesticks, fiddlesticks. Stop hiding the fact that you are an old man. Hehehe <laughs> he sounds like maha. True hehe. <laughs> Hisoka explain yourself. Oh I remember peacefully bathing in a private lake hidden in the woods, when I was rudely interrupted, and traumatized by these sneaks shamelessly staring at my nakedness, fuck you perv. Gone what happened for real? Eh, oh gone tell em what really happened, UHM. Hisoka speaks the truth, guilty gone. What the fuck? I don't believe that, the fuck you bitches spying on my babs, and they always call me sneaky. Oh Nichen and go Nichen I'm very disappointed, we raised you better than that, chains. Indeed, horny teenage pervs. Ashamed boys. Yeah. Ooh the memories, big sigh. I can I, in all fairness we got transported to Hisoka, we didn't know he was bathing, and in the game book he used Krollo's name, that is true, it doesn't change the fact, that you all couldn't stop shamelessly staring at my exposed and vulnerable body. Everyone still looks disappointed at Gon and Killua, but, but but he spies on us all the time. The other day Gon and I were in an onsen, and we raised you to be better than him, and what about isms don't justify your own wrongdoings. Gon and Killua exchange glances. I can't believe I'm doing this. 
killer and gone get on their knees and bow their heads. Sorry clown. Sorry Hisoka-san for embarrassing you. Can you forgive us? Hehehe <laughs> well this is nice. Of course I will forgive you my dears. As long as you keep the most vivid memory of that fateful encounter. Okay guys I'm not paid over hours. So let's wrap this up. In order. Kaluto 9 out of 10. Aluka 8 out of 10. Hisoka 7 out of 10. Kirapika 6 out of 10. Biski 6 out of 10. Killer 6 out of 10. Liario 6 out of 10. Gone 4 out of 10. Illumi 3 out of 10. That's 3 Choco Robots for you Kaluto. I won. Yay I won. And I love Choco Robots. I'm second. Good job little brother. Oh thanks big sister. Last and even beaten by the booger of the green power puff girl. I'm a misunderstood artist fighting a biased and snobbish establishment. Damn same score as the old hack same score as the horrible brat. Do you want all those Choco Robots Kaluto? Oh. You can have them all big. Brother. Thanks, Kiloa. He loves Choco Robots. You should give them back. But. You're right. Kaluto. Here are your Choco Robots back. Sorry. I shouldn't take advantage of you. Thanks. But are you sure? You're the one that matters. I don't want to matter more than you. Kiloa puts his arm on Kaluto's shoulder. Radiant Kaluto. For fuck's sake I'm trying to wrap this up. Assignment for next week. Chose a poetic form other than haiku. Study it and write such. A poem yourself. Preferably no free verse. Ciao.